How to do problem set two. Part two. Supply. Last time we talked about the demand curve. Now we're going to talk about the supply curve. Again, we're dealing with croissants, those yummy little delicious French pastries. Did you know that the croissant is uh, named after the crescent on the Turkish flag? Supposedly, the first croissant was made by the Viennese, not the French. The Germans in Vienna made the first croissant to celebrate their victory over the Ottoman Turks in the Second Siege of Vienna in, I believe, 1673. Um, somebody could Google it. Anyway, croissants, whether in Vienna, Paris, or Istanbul, are made in ovens. Here's the oven. Um, <laughs> with flour, butter, lots of butter, and there's the croissant. And here's the worker. You make more croissants with more flour, more butter, lots more butter, <laughs> lots and lots of butter, and more ovens. If you want to make still more croissants, more flour, more ovens, lots, lots, lots more butter. Uh, all this butter, it's part of the reason why you probably should not have too, too many croissants. But if you have too, too many croissants, then you would need lots and lots and lots of the ovens. Lots and lots and lots of workers. You keep adding more and more workers, more and more ovens, more and more croissants. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Probably leading to a heart attack. Okay. Total amount of labor you need. Now let's assume that you have these croissants. You've got a fixed number of ovens fixed. You've got a kitchen that's fixed in size. To make more croissants, what you do is you add flour and butter and workers. Additional workers become less and less productive because they start running out of places to work. You need more and more workers to produce more stuff, more croissants in this case. The first croissant, one croissant you can make with one-fifth of a worker. Maybe that's like 12 minutes. The second croissant, um, two croissants, you need 0.47, almost half a worker, 30 minutes. The difference is the marginal worker that you need make one more croissant. First croissant, 0.2 workers, one-fifth of an hour, 12 minutes. Second croissant takes 0.27 workers, a quarter of an hour. Third croissant, again, the difference between the labor needed for the three croissants and the labor needed for the two croissants is what's needed for the third croissant. The third croissant takes 0.35. Fourth croissant, 0.47. Get down to the seventh croissant, you need more than a whole hour because the worker has to find a way to work with everybody all around him. Well, ha! Huh. The marginal croissant takes more and more labor. More and more workers for the extra croissants that you need to fatten yourself and your friends up and prepare for heart attack city. Okay, additional croissants take more and more labor. Because the additional croissants take more and more labor, the additional croissants, using the same amount of butter and flour, etc., the additional croissants are more and more expensive. The first croissant costs you $5 to make. Second croissant, $5.85, because you need more labor. Third croissant goes up to $6.91, $8.31, etc. The extra croissants are more and more expensive because you need more and more labor. You're putting in the same amount of flour and butter, but you need more and more labor for the croissants. And therefore, because of the greater labor you need, the, demand, the supply curve of croissants is upward sloping. 
you will supply more croissants only at higher prices because of diminishing marginal productivity in making croissants. And your marginal productivity diminishes because the additional workers run out of room in a fixed-sized bakery. Therefore, you need more and more workers to get the same increase in output. That's all there is to it. Diminishing marginal productivity leads to rising marginal costs. And that gives you your supply curve. Upward sloping supply curve. Thank you. Bye-bye.